right. Get to know them, then you can donate. <laughs> we don't want no unknown donations, all right? <laughs> I know, we're a little bit weird like that, but that's just the way we do it. <laughs> you might get over that shit soon, man. <laughs> all right, because uh, ultimately, it's like, it's like I said to uh, Billy TK back in the day. He's like, oh, I don't want to be seen as a grifter. I don't want to ask for donations. And I say, well, bro, are you a grifter? He's like, no. Okay, so the people who call you a grifter would be wrong, Yeah. Yeah. Do you want people who are wrong to determine what you do with your life? No, I, can, I completely understand that. We also, um, but we did have, uh, we did have issues. We had some donation, um, donations sent to us for Mobile Spearhead, uh, and it was from uh, one particular donor we mentioned, and they got a visit from the police saying, Whoa. did you mean to donate to these people? <laughs> so that's what we're up against here at uh, the Digging at Marsden, trying to save New Zealand's uh, only oil refinery and uh, pr preserve it for our future, for future generations, and preserve what our, our grandparents already paid for in this place. Uh, and for that, we get thanked with the police going around to visit people who donated to us. Well, back in the day during World War II, the Lancaster bomber pilots would take off from England and they'd go over to Germany to find their targets. And uh, the pilots would ask, well, where are our targets? And back in the day, for air defense, they would use flak cannons, those big black smoke puffs that, that just pop up in the sky, shred the planes up. And the old saying goes, when you're copping the flak, you're over the target. And that's what you guys are doing, bro. You're copping the flak, mate. Good on you. You're over the target.